Today I am building this wall hanging framed art wireless loudspeaker. As an industrial designer by profession, I see the design of a loudspeaker not only as a purely functional endeavor, but also as potential art. There are many different types of art, a painting for example. You can even combine different art forms to create something new. A few years ago, I asked a very good friend and very talented artist called Paul Seignol to collaborate with me on a project. The idea was to create a framed loudspeaker to hang on a wall and also feature a painting, and thus create something new that has visual interest but also secondary functionality. Paul is a Cape Town based artist, I recently bought one of his paintings from a few years ago and it is currently proudly being displayed in my lounge. His style has changed and grown over the years that I've known him but it always stays fresh. To see more of Paul's work please visit his Instagram page, I'll put a link in the description below. He has an extensive portfolio, exhibits frequently and also takes on commissioned work. Some time has passed since the original project and I have since dismantled the loudspeaker and am just left with the painted baffle. It is now time to dust it off and reframe it into a new project with new drivers and electronics. I will have built plans for this speaker project on my website at soundblab.net. This project can be a very good creative outlet for anyone looking to show off some of their creative talents. Or you can even ask an artist to create a painting for you on your own baffle for your own wall hanging speaker. Who knows, with the right artist this investment might even be worth a lot one day. Another option is to have one of your favorite photographs printed onto vinyl or wallpaper and stick it to the baffle. The options are endless and only limited by your imagination. The frame speaker is approximately 1 meter long, 400 millimeters wide and 100 millimeters deep. I will be making the enclosure out of 12 millimeter or half inch MDF with a solid keyhard front edge and veneered top and bottom and sides. However, the enclosure can also easily be painted or done in a finish of your choice. This will be a stereo two-way loudspeaker in a ported enclosure with drivers by SB Acoustics and Dayton Audio. I will also design and make a custom crossover and implement a wireless amplifier by Aurelic. Of course, you can easily omit the wireless amplifier if you want to drive the speakers via your own external amplifier. One drawback is that we have to contend with the power cable to power the system. So if you use the internal wireless amplifier then we only have one thin cable running down the wall that can easily be managed to look discreet. In my case I will be hanging the speaker above my bed and will be paneling the plastered brick wall behind the bed so that I can run the power cable behind the paneling, completely out of sight. If you have drywall then it might be a much easier solution to run the cable inside the wall. However, I would strongly suggest that you consult an electrician before doing so to make sure you comply with your local laws and regulations.
I love how the speaker came out and I think it looks great up on the wall in my room. At a later stage I will panel the wall and hide the power cable behind it. The speaker sounds very good and the SP Acoustics 5 inch driver has a very good mid-range sound and decent bass performance for its size. I will definitely be using it in, the f in future builds. Uh, the frequency response is good and impedance is a nominal 4 ohms and briefly drops uh, down to slightly under 3 ohms at around 5000 Hz. Not a problem for most amplifiers at all. I want to thank all of you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It helps the channel greatly to perform well and your support means a lot to me. Uh, you can also support me further on Patreon and YouTube memberships where I post behind the scenes content and you can join our discussions around projects and everything in audio. Uh, links are in the description below as well as a link to the build plans for this project on my website. But let's do a quick sound demo for the speaker now. Enjoy and until next time, adios.